What's up, everyone? I'm thinking today I can hit 5x5 five five at 185. No warm-ups. It's about 40 degrees outside. It's getting colder. That's why I got the gloves. Sure, with these gloves on my hand, not a single rep will count. I have that in mind, so this workout doesn't count. But, like I did with that 165 a few days ago, I'm going to do a set at the top of every second minute. And on that fifth set, assuming I hit fives for the first four, I'm going to rep it out, see what I can hit on a fifth set with 185, considering I've been in PR territory for a few days now. Let's get it. I'd be lying if I said I was doing 5x5 five five for a reason other than the SEO. I bet 5x5 five five at 185 pounds probably gets some SEO. Probably good for the keywords. Why? Because a lot of people online say they're stalling out before this. I realize that with few exceptions, I tend to be the strongest presser outside of competition strongman not many people are comfortable just walking up to a 185 pound bar and putting it overhead with a strict press Whew. maybe it's my thing or maybe it's those extremely massively short t-rex arms i have it's six foot my wingspan's like five seven and a half it's ridiculously uneven and it's not my shoulders it's my arms my arms are that short. 22 seconds. put weight overhead every day 11 days now and man it's caught up to me just a little bit everything was sore today but what I've found with high frequency training the soreness doesn't last very long you'll be sore for two three days tops and that's worst case and then you just run it for three months six months longer Daily training is where it's at. It's a shame that everyone thinks Bulgarian requires you to be a Bulgarian weightlifter. So you can't be every man on the street and just get it. Squat every day was the best thing I ever did for my squat. Right now, I'm pressing every day. And I figure I'm going to hit some PRs. Will I hit 255 on a clean and press this month? I want to hit it by December 1st. I don't know that I will. It's a 15 pound PR, but you know, I'm doing a lot more press work because I'm doing more than one set. I'm at least getting a handful of cleans each day. And I'm terrible on the clean, way stronger a presser.
quads are toast on that one. That one, that was a full body set right there. Everything firing. I think I had good bar speed on reps two and three, but little bits of that, that heh, a little bit of that is stretch reflex. Whew, wow. Got a minute. One minute till the next set. We'll see if I hit this workout. Gonna give it a shot. Gotta try. I don't know that I'm in frame. Find out when I look at this and edit it if I'm facing video or just like my shins. 40 seconds. It's kind of fun talking during these rest periods. Enjoy this kind of format. 30 seconds. I'm gonna speed up this last bit. I figured out how to do that video editing. All right, 72 seconds to that next set. I'm gonna be pretty happy with myself if I hit that five here. Like, five by five at 185. If we're not talking before 1972, that's kind of a benchmark workout on the military press. We'll see, 50 seconds left. Whew. I'm actually struggling with this one. And I wonder, I'm gonna move that leaf. Maybe that leaf gone. All the difference. 30 seconds. Well, I hit the five by five. Didn't get any extra credit reps, but I'm happy with that. This was a hard one for me. Colder out, kind of stiff. Been squatting every day, light and high rep alongside this. Normal day, it's about 30, 35 reps, front squatting an empty bar. Quads are toast right now. Everything was tight today. And yesterday, I did 50 deadlifts at 185 pounds overhand against the clock. Real fun workout. Left my hamstring tight. And <laughs> going this cold, definitely caught up. Definitely had to struggle. But hey, we got it today. Later, guys. I'm out.